society. That is, that, that is something I will, but it is something I will look at, yes. Uh, for giving way. Um, I'm very lucky. My uh, football club, which I support in, on the edge of my constituency, Huddersfield Town, is, is owned by a local businessman who is a, a lifelong fan. Uh, social conscience, really important. Last season's shirt sponsor for Huddersfield Town was the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. They raised over £100,000 for that charity uh, and for the academy as well. But not all football clubs are so lucky. We've heard about Liverpool, Manchester United, other ones as well. Please, will the minister push forward with looking at how the government can maybe intervene? I don't have total confidence in the governing bodies within football at the moment. Fit and, per uh, fit and proper persons, what is happening, transparency. They can't even get the manager of Manchester United to fulfil his media obligations. Please continue pushing forward, seeing how we can intervene and make sure that all clubs have as much confidence confidence that they're being run as well as Huddersfield Town are. Please push forward. <laughs> well, in, 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 in a, they, I mean, the trouble with these debates is they very quickly tap into a basket of issues in, in and around football. We haven't actually even touched on the 2018 bid, which I'm sure everybody in, in, uh, in this chamber will want to support and is the government's top priority. Uh, let, let, me leave, let me leave this debate by, by saying this. Could I thank all those, thank the Honourable Member for instigating the debate, thank everybody who has taken part in it. Both the governance reform agenda and the issue of how we secure greater involvement for supporters are issues that I am. <laughs> Can colleagues please leave us quietly and uh, as disciplined as they did during the last debate?